Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a diagonal stripe pattern in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. I'm just going to use the dimensions of 600 pixels by 600 pixels. And we'll go ahead and create our document. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit here, command or control with the minus key. And then I'm going to start with the pen tool here. And then I'm going to create my diagonal stripe. So I'm going to start at this bottom corner and then I'm going to select my next point here and then just clicking enter to finish off that line here. Next we need to give it a stroke width. So I'm going to go to my stroke panel here. If you do not see this, go ahead and click on window and then you'll just need to scroll down and select a stroke. And then we are going to give it a stroke weight. Let's go ahead and try 100 and see how that looks there. Let's make it a little bit thicker. Let's go 200. And we have our line. For a diagonal stripe line, we need to add it to these corners here as well. So I'm just, so just going to use the selection tool here. We have our line selected. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy this. So let's just right click here, we'll select copy, right click and you can select paste and then we want to move it to this corner. So I'm going to go to my properties panel here. Again, if you do not see your properties panel, just go to window scrolling down to select properties. And here with my X and Y value, we are going to change the point here. So I'm going to go zero for X and then zero for Y. And that will bring us to this top left corner. And then we need to do the same thing, but bring it down here. So let's go ahead and copy that. So in this case, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut command or control C to copy it. And then just to paste it in front command or control F. And we have our duplicate that we can now um, bring to the bottom corner. So our canvas size was 600 by 600. So I'm just going to go 600 for X and 600 for Y. And that is going to bring us to this bottom corner here. To actually save a pattern swatch, we need to create what's called a no fill, no stroke rectangle. So I'm just going to access my rectangle tool here, clicking on the canvas. Our canvas size is 600 by 600 and so we will just create that rectangle here. So let's go ahead and align that to our canvas. We'll use our align tools here, align horizontally and vertically here. And then we need to get rid of our fill. We're going to do no fill here and then we'll select our stroke and we'll go no stroke here. Currently it's in front. So if we look at our layers panel here, it's in the top of our layers panel. We'll go ahead and just drag that to the bottom because we want it to be positioned behind our elements. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out command or control with the minus key and then scrapping my selection tool. I'm just going to go ahead and select all of those elements here. Clicking on the swatches, we are going to drag it in to our swatch panel here. And then we can see that we have saved a swatch of our pattern. So let's go ahead and test it. So let's create a circle. So I'm going to go right click. Let's use our ellipse tool. I'm going to zoom out here, command or control the minus key. Just bring our hand over to the side at our ellipse and then I'm just going to create just a big circle here. Currently it's no fill no stroke so let's select our fill here and then I'm going to select that swatch and we can see our repeating diagonal stripe pattern. When you apply it to an object like this, you can always change the scale by going to object transform and scale. We'll go ahead and move this to the side. In this case, we don't want to actually change the size of our object. So you'll want to unselect transform object and then it will just change the scale. So in this case, we have a 10%, but say we want it a little bit bigger. You can always click on this preview to see how it changes. And then if you like the scale of it, you can always click on OK. And that is how you can change the scale of your pattern. 
So let's go ahead and we'll just go ahead and delete this object here. So the next step, if you want to be able to save it out as a swatch, you'll want to crop it down and trim off these excess edges. So to do that, let's go ahead and just highlight those. And then I'm just going to actually go to object expand so we can expand out our fill in our stroke. And we'll go ahead and click that again, object expand, just make sure it worked. And then I'm just going to highlight them all. I'm going to go object, ungroup. So we'll go ahead and take our rectangle here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and bring it to the front. We're going to go object, arrange, bring to front. And then I'm just going to highlight all of those here. And then I'm going to use the Pathfinder. So if you don't see Pathfinder, you're going to go to Window, scrolling down until you find the Pathfinder option there. And then we are going to use this Crop feature. And that will just crop it down to our swatch size. If we take a look at our layers here, scrolling down, we see our three objects here. And then sometimes when you're working with... Um, lines and the expanding process you'll get some of these like weird paths so i'm just going to select both of those and just delete them because we don't actually need them and just to clean up the layers panel here so if i were to export this um, currently we have no background color um, if you export it as a png it would just be black with transparent um, so let's just go ahead and give it a background so we'll go 600 pixels by 600 pixels let's go ahead and align it and then we want to make sure this has a color so we'll go to swatches we'll give it white and then we'll just go object arrange send to back and now we have a color to our canvas here i'm going to zoom back in command or control with the plus key so we'll go ahead and select all that we'll go ahead and do file export export as We'll go ahead and give it a name and then you can select the type of format. We'll go ahead and do JPEG here and then we'll just click on export. Here under the JPEG options you can select your um, settings here. Um, resolution we're going to go high for 300 ppi, anti-aliasing are optimized and then we'll click on OK. And that's how you could save a swatch of your pattern if you wanted to upload it to a um, print-on-demand site such as Spoonflower. Thanks for watching this tutorial on how to create a diagonal stripe pattern in Adobe Illustrator. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.